Welcome to Catholic Soundview. Father John Higgins here with our sixth teaching, 12 teachings to get ready for the 12 days of Christmas. And we purposely picked something a little controversial. What's the big deal about porn? And it's true that porn is more available now than it's ever been. It's in everybody's pocket, just a click or two away on our cell phones or on our computers. And yet, as much as it's available, no change has taken place in, in the ancient teachings of Jesus. It's worth talking about because Jesus, when he walked among us, said this amazing thing. He said, you've heard that it's been said you shall not commit adultery. But what I say to you is, even if a man so much as looks at a woman so as to lust after her, he has already committed adultery with her in his heart. What Jesus is saying is, is revolutionary that even with our eyes we can sin in our hearts and that human beings are not objects, they're people and they shouldn't be used for our selfish gratification uh, whether we do it in live or in image form as it comes to us on our phone or computer or in the old days in magazines. So to get the teaching straight, it's sinful to look at pornography because it violates our own dignity and the dignity of the people we're looking at. It's sinful also because it leads to the complementary sin, which is the sin of masturbation. And let's be clear, that's, that's also a sin because it uses our body in a way that they're not to be used because our bodies are sacred. Now, it's true that Christ calls us to a very high level of living. He's calling us to live with purity of heart. And I love what Father Vincent says, he says, if we really understood what purity of heart is, there's nothing we would desire more. Jesus himself said, blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. And we don't see God in an object for our own gratification, if we turn God's image and likeness into that for ourselves. So it's true that Christ sets a very high standard for us, uh, to live according to his standard of purity. But the good news is, he gives us his, his grace to live up to that high standard. He takes us out of the mud of our own self-indulgence and our own sinful tendencies and calls us to live in this high level of grace by which we see everyone as human beings. And so um, it's true that it's difficult to live this teaching if someone has gotten enrolled in the habit of looking at pornography, especially over the course of many years. But God's grace is available. And I want to put a special plug in, especially in this Advent season, as we look forward to the coming of Jesus. We look to Mary, the mother of Jesus, who gave birth to the Savior of the world. She is powerful in helping us to live in purity of heart because she too is a woman and she's perfect and exceedingly beautiful. And she helps us to understand that we must see all women as we would look at her, never wanting to use her or abuse her, even her image. And when we pray to her, she helps us to keep that purity of heart. I hope this teaching helps everybody as we look forward to the 12 celebratory days of Christmas. God bless you. Mm -hmm.